Once again, it's time for everyone's uh, semi-favorite funny man, uh, or, or favorite semi-funny man, or, or whatever. Uh, Fozzie has something new in mind for tonight, so summon your courage and welcome, if you will, Mr. Fozzie Bear and Friend! Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. It's Fozzie and Chucky time! Uh, 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 Chucky, hey, <laughs> Who was that lady I saw you with last night? This is funny. <laughs> uh, uh, Chucky, who was that lady I saw you with last night? <laughs> <Is that me? laughs> oh, part of the act. <laughs> uh, hey, Chucky. <laughs> uh, moving right along. <laughs> uh, Chucky, why do firemen wear red suspenders? <laughs> okay, Chucky, listen, uh, why does the chicken cross the road? <laughs> why does the chicken cross the road, Chucky? Say something, anything. Uh, Chucky, uh, Fonzie, Fonzie. He won't talk to me. Yeah, well, listen, there's something about ventriloquism that I think you should know. What? Well, you see, Fonzie, listen, Fonzie, hmm? it's the ventriloquist who actually does the talk. <laughs> Does it? Yes. Really? Mm -hmm. No moving lips? No. Nope. Okay, okay, I got it now. Uh, listen. Uh, Chucky, who was that lady I saw you with last night? Uh, oh, oh, it's so funny. Oh, I love me. Actually, I spent the night alone. Uh, as you may have noticed, Fozzie has taken up roller skating. So here he is with funny jokes and figure eights, Mr. Fozzie Bear! Hiya, hiya, hiya! <laughs> How about that? I haven't told one joke and I'm rolling already. Uh, whoa, whoa. Uh, uh, not bad on a 10 cent pair of skates, huh? Speaking of cheap skates, <laughs> nice blend, Fuzzy. Thank you, Fuzzy. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. The next joke I'm going to tell, I'm going to do it while, while skating a figure eight. Here goes. <laughs> Speaking of cheap skates, I know a guy so cheap when he goes fishing, he puts a picture of a worm on his hook and he catches a picture of a fish. <laughs> Hey, this is a great way for Fozzie to do his material. Yeah, a moving target is harder to hit. <laughs> oh, yeah? Well, watch this. I I I'm going to tell this next joke while skating skating backwards and, and with my foot in the air, wiggling my ears. Here goes. Okay. Guy, guy walks into to a diner. There's a horse behind the counter. The guy just looks at the horse. The horse says, what's the matter? Surprised to see me here? And the guy says, yeah, did the cow sell the place? Ah! Oh, ho, ho. He was doing okay till he fell off the stage. Wrong, he was doing okay till he came on the stage. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Uh, uh, did the cow sell the place? <laughs> and now, ladies and gentlemen. Come in, come in. Please, nominee, please. Uh, yes, please. now. Thank you, thank you. Uh, now, ladies and gentlemen, uh, due to an overwhelming demand, from him, if not from the rest of us. <laughs> Here he is, our own furry funny man, Fozzie Bear! Hey, hey, thank you, thank you, thank you, and thank you! Yes, tonight, because there is a certain someone special in the audience, I will do a special act. Phrenology! Friend what? And, and, and for this demonstration, I will need a volunteer. <laughs> Fuzzy, what are you, what are you gonna do? Trust me, it's for my mother. Okay, okay, gang. Phrenology. The art of reading a person's fortune by feeling the bumps on his head. Okay, now, here we go. Mm. Well, I can tell you're a very flexible person. Mm. Yes, okay, okay, here we go. Uh, I can see in your future, tomorrow, yes, tomorrow, you will have a stiff neck. Oh, yes, okay. You're gonna, you're gonna get another job tomorrow, too, I tell you that. Please, please do, it, do it for mom. Okay, here we go. 
Bumps. Mother. You got some nice bumps, frog. Bumps, bumps. Wonderful. Gee, except your your uh, your bumps for intelligence are very small. What? Yeah. That's okay. Okay, I can fix that. You're gonna you're gonna yeah. do what? Ah! Yeah. You will notice. Stop it! Get out of here! And now it's time for everybody's favorite funny pig. That great big lovable ham who's really a bore and proud of it. Mr. Fuzzy Pig! Ah! Hiya, hiya, hiya! I'm really hot tonight. I guess you could say the fat's in the fire. Ah! Speaking of fat, my wife is so fat that when she brings home the bacon, it takes three guys to bring home the bacon. Ah! Hey, hey, hey. Say, his new material isn't bad. Yes, but his new haircut is awful. Oh. <laughs> but rolling right along, folks, it's really great to be here entertaining you. Uh, but next year, I'm going back to school. Yeah, you see, get this. You see, I still got a lot to loin. I uh, get it, pork? Loin? Ah! Uh... No, I know it's the haircut. Mm. Uh, yeah, but, uh, well, I could do this all night. Uh, uh, yeah, but my sauerkraut is double parked. Ah, uh, get it? Double parked? Uh, parked, uh, aga, 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 aga. <laughs> sauerkraut? <laughs> double parked. It's the worst. <laughs> worst. The worst. The worst. The worst. <laughs> Moving right along, we bring you a few slick tricks with our resident hick, Mr. Fozzie Bear! Thank you, thank you, thank you, love you, mwah, love you, ah, uh, nothing. Okay, ah, uh, with the help of my lovely assistant, Miss Annie Sue Pig. Oh, sure, now, yeah. Ah, uh, I will astonish you all with, ah, uh, oh, I forgot what I was gonna do. Oh, yes, a memory act. Uh -huh. How can I forget? Yes, with the help of my lovely assistant, Annie, Annie, oh, help. Anything big here? Yes? I shall now demonstrate my remarkable, nay, photographic memory. Hey, what's a photographic memory? In your case, a memory that needs developing. <laughs> Uh, yeah, well, uh, and I shall now ask uh, any hoo-ha pig here uh, to close her eyes, and then I shall describe what she is wearing. No. Uh, I, I, no, she will, I will close my eyes, and then uh, she will, dis I will describe what she is, uh, no, wait. How about we close our eyes and get some well-earned sleep? <laughs> No, 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 I got it. Listen, listen. Uh, miss, miss, uh, uh, thing, anything, thing here? Yes, yes, uh, uh, she will describe what somebody here is wearing. Yeah, and with my eyes shut, I will remember where that person is sitting. Uh, drum roll. Okay, do it. Okay, the mystery person is wearing a little brown hat. Yep. A white bow tie. Yep. With red poker dots. Yep. Yeah, well, so is that, is that all he's wearing? Come on. Yeah, that's, but, all. that's ridiculous. I mean, that, that means apart from a hat and a tie, he's bare. That's right. It is? It's you. It's me? Of course it's me. Oh, yes, thank you. Yes, 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 thank you. Thank you. Scooter, please don't introduce me. I don't have an act ready. It's all right, Fozzie. Just tell him the joke you told me. The one about the electricians and the polar bear. You like the one about the electricians and the polar bear? It's a masterpiece. I laugh for days. Introduce me. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Fozzie Bear! Hey, yeah, hey, yeah, hey, yeah, hey, yeah, hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. hey, did you hear about the electricians and the polar bear? Well, see, first of all, the polar bear comes... <laughs> no, but the wallpaper tasted terrific, he said. So the polar bear said that. You see, if he didn't, the electro oh, I'm so lonely. Ladies and gentlemen, due to the indisposition of Fozzie Bear, there will be no comic monologue on this show. Scooter, they, they want me. They, they like me. They need me. Hey, yeah, hey, yeah, hey, yeah. Fozzie. And so, on with hey, the yeah, Hey, yeah, hey, yeah. 
hey, hey, hey. Fonzie, what are you doing here? My monologue. <laughs> but, but you were supposed to meet your true self. I just met him. What's he like? He's shallow, insecure, and needs to buy friends with laughter. It's too late. Get off. Get off. Get off. Get off. Hey, 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 hey. Uh, did you hear the one about the nut who joined the army? Sure, they made him a colonel. Oh, 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 oh. oh that old chestnut! Ah! Hey, 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 you just cut that out, you pigs. Hey, speaking of pigs, what do you get when you cross an Eskimo and a pig? Oh, that's easy. You get a polar boar. <laughs> what is going on? What boar? Move that bucket! Hey, do you do all the cooking in the monastery? Well, oh, hey, hey, I was gonna do that one. No, I, I only cook the potatoes. You only cook the potatoes. Well, oh, uh, wait, wait, I'm doing this one. Uh, oh, you only cook the potatoes. What do they call you? The fryer. No, the chipmunk. Oh. And now, ladies and gentlemen, comedy magic with our own Fozzie. What? I cannot do my song a lady in half act. How come? No saw? No lady. <laughs> hey, come it! I got a song, a frog in there. <laughs> Fuzzy, listen, you just start. I'll, I'll no. find you a lady. I'm not ready. And now, ladies and oh. gentlemen, Mr. Fuzzy Bear! Hiya, 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 hiya. Thank you, thank you, and thank you. Ha! Yes, sir, Fuzzy the magician. Ah, uh, a box. There's a box. Ha, ha, ha. Say, uh, who was that box I saw you with last night? That was no box. That was my luggage. Ha, <laughs> <laughs> I am dicing with death out here, Kermit. Don't worry. It's OK. I found you a lady. You did? Uh, is she beautiful? No, but she's willing. <laughs> Good enough. <laughs> All righty. Ladies and gentlemen, sawing a lady in half. This is a lady. This is a magician. Can you cut that out? All right, um, uh, all right, into the box. Beautiful assistant. Into the In, box. Into the box. box. The box. Over here, the box. You will notice that I did not touch or aid my assistant in any way. Get back, you fool. Into the box. Don't touch me. Into the box. Just do the trick and wind it up. Ah, uh, yes, sir. This is ridiculous. You. All right. Sawing a uh, thing in half. <clears throat> oh, shut up. Look at me, power cables. Say what? <laughs> What did you think? Shocking. <laughs> yes, but was it funny? Of course not. That'd really be shocking. <laughs> okay, ladies and gentlemen, tonight our own Fozzie Bear is making his debut in the classic art of mime. Ladies and gentlemen, Fozzie Bear! Hey, 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 thank you, thank you, and thank you, Mr. Frog. All right, here is my first mime. Picture, if you will, a bear watching a tennis match between two giraffes. Uh, uh, between two turtles, huh? See the smoke. All right. Ah, uh, now, picture, if you will, a bear at a drive-in movie with a porcupine. Hey, what's the name of the movie playing at the drive-in? Uh, I, I don't know. What's the point? You'll find out if you're there with a porcupine. Ah! <laughs> uh, all right, moving right along. <clears throat> As you all know, elephants hate spaghetti. So with that in mind, picture if you will. Wait a minute. Italian elephants don't hate spaghetti. They love it. Uh, this is not an Italian elephant. Uh, this one hates spaghetti. Do you mind? 
See, see, and, and then he's, oh, he's got me by the throat, ah, and then he's trying to kill me, ah! He might as well, you've been dying all night, it'll put you out of your misery. It'll put us out of ours, too. <laughs> see, see, he's got, he's, he's, uh, he's, oh, wait, you don't, this is art, please. I, I, oh, picture, if you will, a bear crawling off stage, <laughs> Why doesn't he do something clever like walking upstairs or walking against the wind? No way. The bear's got no imagination. <laughs> no. Uh, uh, thank you. And now, have I got good news for you? That inspector is closing the show. No. <laughs> then you don't have good news for us. Say, you're as bad as the two old geezers. Why not? She's a geezeress. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so welcome, if you will, the Muppet Show's own cute and clownish, cuddly king of comedy, Fozzie Bear! Hey, 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 what's up, what's up, what's up? Hey, did you hear the one about the lady who went to the psychiatrist and said, Doctor, my husband thinks he's a refrigerator. And the doctor says, well, don't worry about it. And the woman said, I have to. He sleeps with his mouth open, and the little light keeps me awake. <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, moving right along. All right, same lady, right? Good. Goes in the psychiatrist's office, says, Doctor, my husband thinks he's a transistor radio. And the doctor says, well, have him come in. We'll talk about it. And the woman says... He can't talk. His batteries are dead. <laughs> oh, this guy is a riot. <laughs> I am. Let's hear it for Fozzie Bear. Yay! Thank you, thank you, thank you. You've been a very funny audience. I really enjoyed listening to you. Yeah. What happened? Where did I go right? I thought he'd never leave. <laughs> and now, ladies and gentlemen, it's comedy time. And here he is, our own furry funny man, Mr. Foz Ebert! Hiya, hiya, hiya. Thank you, thank you, and thank you. Hey, uh, hey uh, that's nice. You know, if you keep applauding, you won't hear my monologue. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh, but, but, of course, that doesn't mean I want you to sit on your hands. Don't worry, we won't. Good. Yeah, if we sit on our hands, we can't throw things at you. <laughs> Please, give me a chance, will ya? Okay. A very funny thing happened to me on the way to the theater. Too bad it didn't happen after you got here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, you're making me so nervous, I, I forgot what I was gonna say. Oh, mission accomplished. Whoa. <laughs> uh, come on, please. I'm begging, please. Just, just one joke, that's all I ask, just one joke. I think he deserves that, don't you? No, but go ahead. <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you. Okay, <clears throat> joke. What do you get when you cross the Atlantic with the Titanic? I don't know. What do you get when you cross the Atlantic with the Titanic? Halfway. <laughs> That's pretty funny. No, it isn't. Hmm? I was on that ship. Wasn't funny then, and it isn't funny now. Oh. <laughs> I gotta get a different line of work. Could be dry cleaning or something. Well, why'd you do that to poor Fozzie? Do what? I really was on the Titanic. I know. You still have the dress you wore so they'd let you in the lifeboat. Oh. <laughs> and we present, despite heart-rending appeals from the magician's union, that maladroit master of mangled mystification, Fozzie Bear! Ah, thank you, thank you, and thank you! All right, now, I will perform the famous Indian rope trick, but I must have absolute silence for this to work. <laughs> that kid up there? What's he doing? He's hauling on some kind of rope. Hey, be careful! Well, come on, would you guys please stop it? <laughs> I don't know what happened. It used to be an egg. Lucky I landed on something soft. Doo-doo, <laughs> 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 technical.
technical difficulties, the Indian rope trick has been canceled. Hiya, 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 hiya. Bye, 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 bye. You gave him a one? He's never been better. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. Hey, hey, everybody, hey, listen. Hey, what is green waves its arms and is found in Chinese restaurants, huh? I don't know. What is green waves its arms and is found in Chinese restaurants? Kermit the egg roll. Ah. <laughs> Hey, 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 look, it's a dancing cow. This must be a discount tech. Ah! Yes, 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 more, yes, yes. Hey, 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 why did the duck cross the road? I don't know why did the duck cross the road. <sighs> because he was tied to the chicken. It's a dancing shark. This must be a fish called tax. Ah! Yes, more. I know you want more. Hey, 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 hey. Okay, last one. Listen. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. What? Hey, guys. Um, what do you call a light brown billiard stick? Huh? Uh, can Q? You're welcome. Ah! decided it might help his monologue if he did it on his own home turf. So here he is out in the backwoods, ladies and gentlemen, Fozzie Bear! Hiya, 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 this is Fozzie Bear out in the open air with funny jokes to spare, so laugh, don't stare. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Uh, but seriously, I love working in the woods. Yeah, that's because I know all the trees. See, there's the cedars, and uh, those are the pines, and oh, these are the funny trees. The funny trees, you ask? Yes. These are the oaks, folks. Ah, oaks, see, it's where... Oh, here's my friend the weasel. Yeah, you know, he's the one who tells me when it's time to quit work. You know why? He's the five o'clock weasel. <laughs> you see, it's whistle. <laughs> These are the oaks, folks. <laughs> okay, but I feel right at home in the woods here. Yeah, I was uh, I was born a stone's throw away from here. Yeah, in fact, my mother still lives here. Yeah! <laughs> Thanks a lot, Mom. I get the hint, but I'll quit when it's time. What do you want, weasel? Okay, well, I think there's no way to avoid it, folks. So here he is, Fozzie Bear in his high strung marionette. Oh boy, this is terrific. This could be a whole new career. I, I mean, I, I never felt so, so in command before. Look at that. Ha, ah, it moves at my command. Uh, I pull the string, and it does anything that I want it to. You know, I don't want to do this anymore. Hey, you! Rug face! What? Who, me? Yeah, come here. Ah! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's all part of the act, folks. <laughs> come here! He was right. It's a terrific idea for an act. Uh, what do you know about it, Banana Beak? <laughs> okay, folks, it's comedy time, and here is our own Fozzie. Hold on, little green buddy. Which comic are you introducing? I was introducing our own comedian. Yes, folks, and here he is at Wild Wit of the West, wonderful Wally Whoopi. Fozzie Bird! <laughs> Wally Whoopi here on Whoa Nelly. You folks watching on radio won't believe this, but I am standing next to a wild bear. Oh, no, 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 sir. I'm not a wild, well, 
I mean, I'm a bear, but, but I'm not wild. Oh, listen, I don't blame you. I'm not wild about bears either. <laughs> I, I, I'm a comedian. A comedian? Do yes. you know the most important thing about being a comedian? No, what's the most important Timing. thing? Timing. <laughs> Let's hear one of your jokes, comedian. Oh, all right. <clears throat> <clears throat> See this walrus, he goes into the theater. Hey, and all you're sudden... not nervous, are you? Well, a little bit, yeah. A uh, little? Wa Why, folks, he's as nervous as a frog on a freeway with his hopper busted. <laughs> <laughs> Just go ahead with your little story now. Thank you. This walrus... And don't he... be nervous. Fine. This walrus... This better he... be good, folks. <sighs> What's the matter? Cat got your joke? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, why don't you forget about being a comedian? Why don't you learn to ride a bicycle and join the circus? Oh, no, no, I want to get laughs. Fall off the bike. <laughs> Listen, you've been a great stooge, and to show you what kind of guy Wally Whoopi is, I'm inviting you up to my ranch for the weekend. You mean... Oh, wow, thank you, thank you. Yes, uh -huh. I just want you to go up there and relax. Oh, just stretch out on the floor and yeah. take it easy. On the floor? Yes, my regular rugs at the cleaners. Oh. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Keep them cards running so many. Yes, indeed, we'll see you soon if the trick don't rise. <laughs> All right, let's hear it for the funniest man west of west of the Pecos, Wally Whoopi. Come on out, Wally. <laughs> hey, good news. And while we're at it, Let's have a murmur of sympathy for that poor sap, Fozzie Bear. Okay, that does it. Huh? Listen, how dare you say things like that about my friend Fozzie? This bear is one of the stars of the Muppet Show. He's loving and friendly. Uh, funny. Uh, he's dedicated, loyal, trustworthy. Funny. Uh, uh, handsome, generous, sweet, gentle, charming. Funny. And very, very funny. <laughs> <laughs> 